Hey, what's up, coach? It's Ben Neighbors from the Six Figure Trainer Podcast. Now, today I want to talk about something that I see literally probably 20 times per day on Instagram. So if you go to Instagram and you type in whatever the sport that you coach, if you just type in like hashtag basketball skills training or basketball trainer, you'll see all of the coaches that have that hashtag that are posting content. And you could do that for any sport. And what we see, like what our company sees on a daily basis is there's a lot of coaches out there that film content. They're filming content of themselves. They're filming content of their clients. Um, everybody now is filming content. I mean, that's just kind of part of this business. And a lot of people have like really outrageous videos online. And I'm not going to like sit here and, and call out people by name. Um, but I wanted to create this video because I know some of you guys that watch our channel, you might not be shooting content to promote your business. And a lot of you guys that watch our channel are producing content for your training business to try to get new clients. And here's what you need to know. It doesn't matter what you post online. The only thing that matters is, is that producing results? So if you're doing something crazy online to try to get a lot of eyeballs on what you do that could that could be great but the question i would have for you is like whatever you're doing online is that how you are in real life once these parents meet you so my whole method for anyone that we've ever worked with um, to try to get them to start producing content is like however you are in real life is how you need to be <laughs> on camera because if you are a certain way on camera and you are not that way in real life, there is a mismatch when the, the parent or the player that you're marketing towards, when they meet you in real life, it, it's going to feel very weird for them because they're going to think you're a certain way on camera. And then when they see you in real life, if those two people aren't the same, it's going to be a very weird feeling for them. All right. So my advice is whatever you're doing online, you need to ask yourself three questions. Number one, is this me? Like, and the easiest way you can answer that is the people that know you the best, like have them watch your videos and be like, yeah, like that's you or no, like this is a different version of you. And like, sure on video, you might need to talk with more emphasis or do certain things to get people's attention, like with graphics and stuff like that, that pop in on the video. Like, and that's just marketing. All right. But first question really you need to ask yourself is, is this me? Because if it's not you, if you're trying to be someone else on camera, that is not going to work for you. And I don't care um, what products or courses that you buy about online marketing. If you're not being you, it's not going to work, period. So number one, got to ask yourself that question. Is this me? Is this me on camera? Um, is this me off camera? Are we the same people? <laughs> All right. That's number one. Number two. This is a very important thing that so many coaches are missing right now in 2023, going into 2024 with their marketing online, which is, am I getting clients from the content that I'm putting out there? Yes or no. And if yes, how many clients am I getting per month? And if you don't know the answer to that question, then I would be telling you right now, you're wasting so much time on Instagram, if you're filming a bunch of videos, if you're doing a bunch of stuff there, if you don't know what that's actually producing, then why are we doing it in the first place? That is a question most coaches don't like to address because they are after getting followers, after getting attention. And I'll always ask you, well, how many clients is that actually bringing in? All right, so that's the second one. The third thing you need to ask yourself is out of those who are watching my stuff, how many people are local in my area? This is another overlooked thing. All right. Uh, and let me give you an example. Yesterday, a coach that I spoke with has 200,000 followers on Instagram. It was a basketball term, 200 K followers. All right. 200,000 people. That is so many people it is insane. All right. 200,000 people. 
all right? 200K, a lot of people, <laughs> right? I will repeat myself until this really gets hammered in your head, all right? So 200,000 people, and I asked him, I said, well, out of the 200,000 people, how many of these folks are local that live in your area that can drive to your facility? And he was like, I don't know. I was like, okay, well, out of these 200,000 people, like, I mean, how many of these are clients? And he was like, I don't know. I was like, okay, well, that would be a really good uh, research project to figure out is a, out of the folks that are actually following you, how many of those are going to pay you, right? Not how many of those are going to just watch you for free. It's how many of those are going to pay you. And I have a pretty simple equation, right? It's whatever you're doing online, all right? You could have a video that has 30 views or 300,000 views. I don't care. I care about who's taking action after that video is done. And that's the difference, right? I know so many coaches right now that have less than 1,000 followers that make way more than 100K per year, all right? That's the truth. And I also know a lot of coaches out there that have over 100,000 followers that make way less than like 30K per year, all right? Let that sink in. And how do I know? Well, I talk to these coaches all day long. People reach out to us. We reach out to coaches. Uh, we're talking to coaches. Like when I'm not doing these videos, I'm talking to coaches. That, that's how our company is set up. All right. So you got to ask yourself, how many of these folks are local? All right. If you don't know that, you need to figure that one out. Because if it's a bunch of kids that live overseas that can't pay you money, like what's the point? And seriously, what's the point? Like if, if your followers are not going to be converting into customers, then you are marketing to folks that will not give you money. All right. It's a tough pill for coaches to swallow, but you need to hear this because I see right now a lot of young or new business owners, when they get into business, they look at Instagram and Facebook and they're like, oh, I need to be like this guy or I need to be like that guy. So the first thing that they do is they try to go copy those videos and then they realize, oh, well, this actually isn't me on camera. I'm trying to be like this person. And then they try to figure out, well, how, do, how can I get clients from social media? Well, I better shoot more videos. That, that's what people think. If I shoot more videos, I'm going to get more clients. Reality is, is like, yeah, like maybe shooting more videos can help you. But what are people doing after they watch these videos? And then the third, like we just covered, is like, where are these people located? If, if they're not in my current city, it does. their views do not matter. Like I'd rather have 30 local views than 300,000 views that are not local. All right, it's not going to drive my business further having 300K views on one video if those views aren't going to convert into clients. All right, so I hope you can see that. All right, and like I said at the beginning, how you market yourself, as long as you're getting clients, in my opinion, it's all that matters. That is all that matters as long as you're getting clients from the efforts that you're making online. And this is just the reality. It's like all almost all of the coaches on Instagram are doing the same thing. Everyone's trying to just like do the same sort of videos, um, same sort of content. And it's going to be the coaches who stand out amongst everybody else. So do you need to stand out with a million followers? No, you don't. Um, you could stand out with less than a thousand followers. And again, like, it's only going to matter to your business if the people who are watching your videos convert into clients anyways, right? Because we already covered that. So I hope this video helps. Um, and honestly, a lot of coaches out there that are in this training business, they don't wrap their mind around what I've explained on this video. They're, they're, out, they're after fame. They want to be popular. They want to have these sponsorships online. Um, and I would rather just tell you straight up, like, would you rather be famous or would you rather be rich? All right. Uh, normally, and this is just the facts uh, within this industry, normally coaches are not both. <laughs> uh, normally they're not super famous and rich at the same time is everyone's after um, clicks. Everyone's after, you know, being a celebrity on the internet and, the most successful coaches I have ever worked with in my life, and I have worked with so many 
super successful coaches that you have probably already seen online, they don't care that much at all about their branding. They are just after growing a successful business. Period. That's it, guys. Hopefully this helps. And uh, if you want more videos like this, come back to our channel, hit the subscribe button, and uh, we have a lot more content uh, for you guys. And I just want to shoot it to you real. All right? I've been in this industry for now 14 years, a really, really long time, way longer than the average coach that is probably in this business for like six months. Um, so I have done it. I have now coached thousands of people that are in this industry right now. Um, and if you are someone that wants more help, go down to the description. You can find my phone number there and reach out to me. All right, guys, catch you later.